वेलकम बैक माई यूट्यूब फैमिली वेलकम बैक टू एन अदर थ्रिलिंग एपिसोड ऑफ टू मिनट्स एवरी फ्राइडे आई एम बियॉन्ड एक्साइटेड टू हैव यू ज्वाइन मी टूडे एज वी डाइव इन टू आर टॉपिक दैट इज नॉट जस्ट फ्यूचरिस्टिक इट्स ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग द वे वी वर्क एंड मेक डिसीजन बकल अप बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन एक्सेल आई हैव गोट सम रियल डेटा मैजिक फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई मास्टर क्लास डेली सेल्स ट्रैकिंग डैशबोर्ड बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द डेटा सेट फ्रॉम माई दिस मास्टर क्लास इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी दिस इनक्रेडिबल डैशबोर्ड फॉर डेली सेल्स ट्रैकिंग यू कैन क्लिक इन द अपर राइट कॉर्नर और राइट लेट्स कट स्ट्रेट टू द चेज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन एक्सेल वाई इज दिस द नीड ऑफ द और वेल थिंक अबाउट लाइक दिस वी आर लिविंग इन अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ अवर फ्लोइंग विद डेटा माउंटेन्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड वी नीड अ वे टू मेक सेंस ऑफ इट ऑल टू कवर अन हिडन पैटर्न एंड टू मेक डिसीजंस दैट रूल मैटर विद द हेल्प ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन एक्सेल वी कैन मेक क्विक डिसीजन With the help of artificial intelligence we can identify the forecasting pattern for specific brands and with the help of artificial intelligence in Excel we can automate our task and we can invest more time in thinking the creative ideas So now I'm going to visit this sales data sheet and from here I will be copying this data control and opening new sheet control alt v from my keyboard and this dialog box will pop up from here i will be selecting this values okay i'm selecting all of this my data and i'm going to visit this analyze data and i'm copying this revenue by region in donald chart going back to my excel sheet here i will be pasting this revenue by region in donald chart press okay insert revenue by region i'm copying this and visiting this pivot table analyze and you need to change the name of the table from here again i'm going back to my this section and from here i'm choosing my second question and i'm pasting here searching this insert so this is my revenue by months copying this selecting this one and you uh, need to change the name going back to my question sheet copying this returning back to my excel sheet and from here i will be selecting this one so now i'm going to insert it and from here i will be going to field list and in field list i will be removing year and month because i need the day wise sales and here also i will be removing this day with this day now i will be visiting my this last question going back to my this sheet and i will be searching this question revenue by customer insert so this is my revenue by customer and this is my revenue by day so all of my charts are ready now i'm adding one new sheet here with the name of dashboard i will be visiting all of my sheets and i will be cutting all the charts and pasting on my this main dashboard sheet So now I will be arranging all of these charts as per the space I have on my this sheet. You just need to follow me. I am selecting this one format, and from here I will be changing 3.06 to 3.54. Similarly, I will be adjusting all of my rest charts. I am making this 90 percent. So. i'm going to page layout i will be selecting this paper I'm going to visit now page layout again and background paper and i'm selecting this one insert now i'm going to select this one and i'm visiting this format from here i will be selecting this shape fill to no fill now i'm pressing this one and i will press f4 from my keyboard it will repeat the previous task same with this f4 f4 now i'm selecting my this chart and i will be visiting this format from here shape outline to white i'm pressing rest my charts and pressing f4 from my keyboard it will repeat the previous task now i'm selecting this one its background color will be white bold area same with it
now i'm selecting this one converting its background color to white now i'm going to select this one and i'm going to insert from here i will be selecting my slicers region customers i will be adding slicers for these okay i'm adjusting these of my slicers with the reference of my space i have here now i'm going to right click on it going to slicer setting from here i will be unchecking this one and checking this one press ok so now i'm clicking this one and from here i will be selecting this data label selecting this one and showing data labels selecting this one showing data labels this one and data labels now i will be visiting all of my these pivot tables and doing the extra decimal same with this now i'm clicking my this data label going to home and its background color will be white now double clicking on my this chart selecting these elements and i'm going to border from here solid fill make it white and i will be selecting this three so selecting this one again going to my slicer and from here i will be selecting the slicer for month and year going to slicer make it 0.15 now i'm selecting all of my these slicers going to slicer from here i will be selecting this this one this color is more aligned with my color scheme of this dashboard so now i'm going to insert from here i will be inserting one shape now i'm going to insert from here i will be inserting this shape from here i will be dragging it on the right side so uh, this is my so now i'm selecting my this slicer going to slicer and report connection here i will be enabling all the pivot reports and i will be repeating this process for rest of my charts as well as we wrap up this episode of two minutes every friday i want to leave you with this thought the word of artificial in excel is here and it's waiting for you to tap into its potential don't miss out on the opportunity to supercharge your decision making gain time traveling insights and embrace effortless automation thank you so much for joining me today remember every step you take towards learning is a step toward transformation so dive in and explore the daily sales tracking dashboard and witness the future until next time keep embracing technology keep using ai in excel and keep changing your life for the better see you soon goodbye